Oh! Jesus Christ! Alright, well that would explain a bit. Well, he loves scary stories. Hey. Hey. Who are you? Oh. Oh, he's... Oh. The lonely boy loves reading scary stories. Wow, he read scary stories all day on our light. Oh, wow. Alright. This is a children's book. That... Dumet seems to have defaced a little bit. He lived with his mother, what she was, but she was very strict. Stop reading that book. The boy, the boy was sick of being told what to do. It's not fair. Oh no! Seems he had some sort of complicated, a complicate. Well, we know he had a troubled relationship with his mother. I think it gave him an idea of revenge. The the boy sneaked out of the house. Hehe. <laughs> Alright, he jumped and shouted and frightened his mother. Ra, he loves scary stories. Okay. No, go back. So, so he... Is that it? There's no more book? Well, Jesus. Well, it seems he has some... Well, it seems that, that Demet had some mother issues. Hey, guys. Zach Mercier, and welcome back to the Dark Pictures Anthology. So, uh... I just kind of wanted to pause this because there's going to be dialogue coming up. I don't want to miss that. But, uh, in case, welcome back. And this is probably going to be the last episode I should mention. Um. Hey, guys, up here. Kate, Jamie, I'm here. What, okay, what bearing got updated? I should probably figure out what that bearing does. Bearing, that's the new one. Uh, Jamie found the dog in the farmhouse. Uh, okay, so that's the Mr. Demet, I presume. Okay, so these are all the... Complicit. Okay, so there is a, so there is a pairing there for that. Okay, but in any case... This is going to be the final episode, I think. Because there's only two chapters... Well, three. But one of them is the end, which is the end of every chapter. I looked up the chapters. There's only three left, so we're at the end. And only one and one of those is just the final chapter of the game. Um, also, I figured out I'm where the, my... Going into back into my collections. I figured out where my final picture is. As it turns out, it was in Maze. So it was hiding somewhere in Maze, and I did, just didn't find it. So, yeah, I had to find it in the maze, and it's so... I'm gonna have to replay through that game again, through that again to find it. And I have no idea where it is. So, that's gonna be interesting. But, and then also, I'm presuming this one belongs to Aaron. So, we can't find that one either. How is that smell? Jesus. Oh. Oh, but this is the final... Ooh. Dear Mr. Monday. I inform you of an issue with the plot R3 57 PA12. That's right of the internment and your name. Is my duty to inform you of a recent incident at burial plot RA34A. 
A patch of soil has been disturbed and the headstone was moved from its base. I understand that this is the grave of your late mother, Lucinda Monday. Therefore, I, am, I appreciate this news may be distressing. Unfortunately, on rare occasions, local wildlife may cause such disturbances and suspects that this is the case in this incident. As a matter of public safety, it's our duty to ensure maintenance of our plots in every high scenario, and we have swiftly corrected the disturbance. There's been no permanent damage. This is Lily Jen, J Jeffrey Gray, Chief Caretaker. I understand. Oh! Is that... That has to be in a reference to... Okay, Lucinda Monday's grave has been disturbed. Alright, so... This is a different plot part of the lighthouse that we didn't get to explore. Alright, well... I'm a little on edge, because we know Mon cause we know that Demet's hanging out in the here. And he might have Mark. Oh! Jesus Christ! Alright, well that would explain a bit. You're a selfish monster. Always have been. Boy loves scary this? stories. Hey. Hey. Who are you? Oh. Oh, he's... Oh. The lonely boy loved reading scary stories. Wow, he read scary stories all day on all night. Oh, wow. All right. This is a children's book that Dumet seems to have defaced a little bit. He lived with his mother, but she was, but she was very strict. Stop reading that book. The boy, the boy was sick of being told what to do. It's not fair. Oh, no. Seems he had some sort of complicated, a complicated, well, we know he had a troubled relationship with his mother, I think. It gave him an idea of revenge. The the boy sneaked out of the house. Hey hey. All right. He jumped and shouted and frightened his mother. Ra. He loves scary stories. Okay. No. Go back. So so he. Is that it? There's no more book? Well, Jesus. Well, it seems he has some- Well, it seems that, that Dumet had some mother issues. Like, le legitimately. Okay, that's where we were. Please tell me Mark's okay. Okay, that doesn't fill me with any confidence. Oh, thank God. Charlie. Thank God. Have you seen Mark? He's all right. He's trying to get that bloody light going. Mark? Please tell me you can hear me. That's not great. Oh no. Mark! I thought I lost you. There he is. I knew he was in here. I knew he was hanging out in here somewhere. Alright. Creepy bastard. Now to 
to get the hell away from him. There he is. Well, we got the lighthouse working, which means somebody has to see it, right? Station police. Thank God. Get the feeling it's not going to be that simple, though. We didn't do anything. We didn't do anything. He's trying to kill us. You'll have a chance to tell your story. All right. I figured it was not going to be that simple. Yeah, that guy's missing an arm now. And I get the feeling there's a reason nobody has ever come to investigate him. They're all dead. Go! Run! I don't know how we're gonna how well we're gonna get through here. Okay, bearing updated? What updated? So let me know what bearing updated. Bearings. The cop found the bodies of the furry man and the girl. Okay, that's all the that's all that happened. This, this should work. Oh, it's not working. Starter cord. Work, damn it. Connie! Hey, hey, Connie. Good to see you, boy. Come on. Come on. There he is. Just work. Go! Oh, but there's no way in hell. There's no way in hell he's gone. I don't think it's over, but Yep. This guy's persistent. Yeah. 
Oh, I'm gonna be controlling a lot of people. JB! No, jump. You don't have a screwdriver to attack him with. Kate has your screwdriver. I remember. Like, I was remember, like, I'm trying to remember who has a weapon, who doesn't. Kick his ass. Oh my. John? <laughs> it is just John under there, I should mention. Kick his ass, kick his ass, kick his ass, kick his ass, kick his ass. Alright, Kate. It's finished. You have the screwdriver. Come on. Get off of, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Get off, 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 get off. Yeah. Go, you creepy bastard. <laughs> Fantastic. Hallelujah. If that song doesn't put a smile on your face, I don't know what will. We have a nonstop block of your favorite classic rock after this break. No damn commercials. Oh. Oh, shit. Shit! I looked up, and there they were just in the middle of the flipping room, waving their hands and arms like a bunch of crazies. And where are you coming in from? Uh, Fort Wayne. Been driving since 3 a.m. Early start. Well, I was trying to get into the port by 8. Probably not going to make that now, am I? I'd say likely not. Uh, achievement unlocked. Happier ending. The dog made it off the island alive. You know what? I think I'm going to see about that studio in Brooklyn. See if I can make it work. After this, starting over feels like a good idea. Yeah. Just promise me you'll tell me how it goes. Only if you promise to keep giving me unsolicited advice. <laughs> Count on it. Aw. Good ending. Good ending. I got the good ending. Uh, well, mostly. I'm missing. I'm down a protagonist and. Uh, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't real. I, I should have. I know exactly what I did that caused Darren to die. So I'm definitely gonna have to play through the game again. Alright. 
Guess he's never going to be able to look at fire the same way again, either. He was in a giant burning box. It's probably not great. <sighs> well, I know exactly what I did. I need to go, I need to go back through the game, but this time make sure Aaron's alive. Because I know I screwed up. But that's probably the best I've done at one of these. I had I got four of my five protagonists through the game. Plus a dog for for good measure. I I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Then again, I also messed with some of the quick time events, but that's okay. I understood. It's like I understand that quick time events is probably not the best thing, but you know, I'm just happy that it's done and I finished another one of these games. It's like, it's a good ending, I'll take it. You okay? Oh! He never leaves the repository. Something going on? Oh, you're here. All good things must come to an end. But how good was the end for our crew? Mostly. Most of them survived. But sadly, there was someone who didn't. So, rest in peace, Erin. The new girl surprised everyone with her courage, but now she's gone to the great audio suite in the sky. Unfortunately, yeah. But... What about those who survived? Has the experience changed them? Kate had a secret. She was traumatized by something that happened a long time ago. But she faced the thing she was most afraid mm -hmm. of in the whole world and survived. Jamie learned that she had to trust other people and work with them. Mark had to stop waiting for people to tell him what to do. He had to make his own way in the world. And Charlie finally understood that leadership is more than ordering the team around. He had to treat them as equals and let them take the lead when the time was right. Hmm. I'll tackle the paperwork in the morning. Can you find your own way out? It was, as always, enlightening. I have no doubt we'll meet again in the future. Farewell. All right. Hmm. All right, that's ominous. Oh, no. The chain of events are still unclear at this point in time. What we can confirm is that a little after 7.30, a truck driver was flagged down to render aid. The police were called and quickly arrived on scene. The survivors are part of a film crew, Lonnet Entertainment, the team behind the Architects of Murder docuseries. Fuck, man. It seems like as though they got a little too close to their subject material. And some of them, sadly, did not survive. Thankfully, their ordeal is now at an end. Holy shit. Remember how my video went viral? How could we forget? You bring it up every chance you get. Just listen to this. I got enough views to win a competition. What did you win? An all expense paid trip to an island resort for five. Now I'm interested. Yeah, Mr. Dumet says they're gonna send a limo and everything. 
Mm. This is gonna be so much fun. Oh no. Does, so does he have more than one place where he does his business? Oh no. That's not great. That's not great at all. Thank you, Dumet, for serenading us out with your creepy animatronics. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's the end of, uh... Well, I don't know when the credits are gonna roll, but that is... This, this does feel like it's supposed to be the end. Yeah, that's the end. Okay, well, that's the end of the Dark Pictures Anthology, The Devil in Me. So, overall, I enjoyed this game immensely. Like, I, I always, these games are always fun, because they're always, because the stories are always different, and I, and I always enjoy how they play out. But, uh, but the story of this one is interesting. I mean, it goes a little campy at the end, and honestly, I have given it flack for that. I, there's not really anything else I can say about that. It's just very campy. Especially at the end, because you know, it just is. But uh, the story, but yeah, because it does go kind of go full slasher villain. Because in slasher films, they, they they always get a bit campy, and the and the and the villain main antagonist always survives some crazy bullshit, and he's always fine. But uh, but the story, but the story is interesting. Like I like the idea. Like we get to go through a like we like you're facing off against a serial killer, and you actually get to you know look inside his head a little bit. And, uh, the mystery of who he is is interesting as well. And I do, and I did enjoy that. But, uh, and also the connections to H.H. H. Holmes, that was interesting. Like, I like the idea that it, that, that this entire story was followed after, yeah, um, John Daglish is also H.H. H. Holmes. Dumet, I think, as well. But, he, I, actually, yeah, he's, they, he plays Dumet. But, uh, but yeah, it's just John under the mask. I should, I, I will openly, I will tell you that. It's just John. It's just John. There's no real mystery. It's just John. But, uh, yeah, the mystery was, the story was interesting. I mean, I like the idea that he took, in, that he took inspiration from a real world serial killer. And put his own creative spit on it, even if it was a little bit, you know. You don't, I don't condone the methods. Don't kill people. I've said that many times. I've said that several times during this LP. But uh, I enjoy the story immensely for this. And uh, and obviously, this is the best one I've done. The best I've done. Obviously, I, I reset because of some stupid things with the controls. And I and I will openly admit that if I hadn't to reset, I probably would have lost a lot more protagonists than I did. Um, but you know. I, I will be because because there were some definitely some moments where there was just where the where the where the controls were just really stupid, like for like for example the the, the one where he was locked in the what the what, the one the one where uh, where where is it Charlie was locked in the in the in the incinerator and was about to die, the controls were for, for that kept 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 trying kept, like the controls were kind of inverted a little bit. I'm not I would, I did not particularly care for that, um but uh. Also in the store, but also there was a part where, where in addition to that, um, Kate almost died because it randomly changed the prompt on me when I was trying, when I was mashing, when I was mashing a button and she went over the roof. And also I should mention, that's also another point to Dermot just being a little bit campier than he should be because he went over, because he went over the roof and he didn't die. So yeah, I, I am, I'm just that in general upset me upsets me a little bit like sometimes the okay but we but they can ask me to skip to end but i still got more things i want to say but the story of this is is all the story of this was interesting um i do have my complaints about it like the store like obviously how jimet can just survive just all sorts of different types of punishment when he's supposed to be just you know a normal dude but uh I mean, I obviously have lots of complaints about that. I have a, I have several complaints about that because you know that doesn't really work. 
Like you can't like you can't just have him die like and ju and just receive so much punishment and he and have him be completely fine. He should be dead and he's not. He he he, he should be very dead. But uh but uh yeah, the story and I dropped my phone, but the story is it with this but I did like it getting get into his head, exploring how his methods work. Out because outside of him just, you know, surviving things that should kill a normal person. Uh, his methods did make sense. I I did enjoy look looking into how his how he actually set up his hotel, how was how the, he actually operated the whole thing. I like the idea of him of this going into his headquarters and figuring out how his how his how he makes the walls move and all that, and and just over, and just how he makes his animatronics. Just all those things were interesting to me. Um, and I can so for me, and and for that reason I can forgive it being campy. It's just if you're if you're not really if you're not, if you're going into the game and expecting it to be a serious take on a serial killer, don't because this kid this is a series that has gone all over the place essentially. Because first and foremost, we've had we've we had the Manchurian Gold, which caused people to just you know hallucinate things, and then we had the demon the inner demons, which you know didn't actually exist; they were in somebody's head. Then next we had the vampires, which were just straight up aliens. And then this game, the serial killer may or may not be some sort of, I don't know. He, he was able to survive a bunch of, a bunch of fatal injuries that he otherwise shouldn't have, which, uh, you know, but the series, the series is campy. I will, I will say that it is campy. So if you're going to it, expecting it to be like in a serious dissection of a serial killer, it is that, but also don't expect it to not go full campy at some, at times because it will, but, uh, yeah, then also I just enjoyed I enjoyed it, but that is that is season one of this series done, which means we have another. There's gonna be another four games. Also, I want to at least at uh, some point buy a PlayStation VR two because I want to set up that because there is a because there is a game on the way for 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 PlayStation VR two, um and, and in order to do that I need to actually you know buy a PlayStation get it all set up and do all those things. But, uh, which we will be doing, hopefully. I have the money for it. I, I will absolutely be saying that up on my own time. But, uh, hopefully. But, uh, yeah, you got, but yeah, I will be saying that up because there is a game and I do want to play it for you guys. I'm not sure how well that's going to work, but it's an Unreal shooter, I know. And then we've got, and then next time we will see you guys for season two for a more traditional Dark Pictures anthology. Um, and that's the end of that. But we've got another trailer to go. Amanda Stafford. See this constellation. After successfully rendezvousing with a Charybdis marker, we have detached the booster ring and spurts are high as we make our final approach to Tau City F. The ship has suffered a hull impact, but damage is minimal, and our technicians are restoring full functionality. Mm. This is Thomas Carter. Something's wrong with Sims. She's trying to kill me. Uh, I think. <laughs> Our next transmission will be broadcast from orbit around humanity's future home. Mm. Step it out. Directive 820. Directive 8020. Oh, that's going to be fun. Season 2 premiere. When's that coming? I suppose we'll find out. But in the time being, I know the team is working on... I was no, working on Switchback. So I know for the time being we're probably not going to see that, but uh, um, in any case, that's going to do her. So we can also go into collectibles now. Then that we've done everything, and uh, or is that no? This is just the secret. This is the secrets. This is all I've already done. But I am missing how many secrets at the end? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I am probably there's either probably a few that I didn't see in the thing. Or a few that I missed because, you know, I needed Aaron to get them. And I don't know. And otherwise, I don't know where they are. I know one of those is a picture. So, I know one of those is a picture that I needed from Aaron. So, I unfortunately can't get that with without Aaron. So, unfortunately, that's how it's going to work. And also, this one I just missed. I know exactly where this one is. And I just missed it. So, yeah. That's uh, going to do her for today, I think. We've also got... Bonus features, we can go into... I don't think we have anything... We can unlock anything for bonus features. We've got documentaries unlocked and things like that. But we haven't... 
Making the murder castle of Maris gifts for Sirico. Remember with Morello part one we didn't unlock because we need to find all of his all the collectibles to get that. Um Dioramas. And then there's just dioramas left that we can buy. So we should Oh Connie! We can buy Connie! Alright, how many I'm gonna see how many I can of these I can buy. I'm probably gonna need to Yeah, there's Dumet. There's there's everyone's favorite bastard. Um, yeah, there's a few of these that I'm definitely gonna missing and I'm probably not gonna get them. Uh, Mother. No, no. I mean, we're not unlocking Mother. We're not unlocking Mother. That's creepy. Frenemies. Dinner. And we've got one. Co okay, so we need to play through the game again to get the rest of these. Because we don't have nearly enough obbles. Uh, we don't have nearly enough obbles to unlock all these, but that's okay. Um, Demet's Mother Harmonious Choir, Helpful Bartender, Sherman. Uh, we've got, there's a couple of these that are unlocked by finding certain, unlocked it in Ultimatum. I didn't find this one. I didn't, f I was in Director Suite, and I didn't find that one. Hmm. Director Suite. Discovered in the lake. Discovered in lake and cliffs. I missed a couple of these because I can't unlock them unless I play through the game a certain way, it seems. So I missed some of these. That's unfortunate, but I seem to have all of them otherwise. I just need to buy them. And the best way to do that is to just play through the game again. Uh, I'm broken. Okay, so this is the... That is the so beating him. So the so this is the so this is uh, just his final defeat, well quote unquote final because obviously he's still kicking and he's still bringing people to his murder castle, and the ending seems to imply that he has more than one. Not sure how that works. Uh, but it seems that he's but I don't really know what the the implication seems the ending seems to imply that he has more than one murder castle which. Doesn't that concerns me a little bit? But that makes the question. He probably, he probably, or that, or he went found another. He did the whole thing again, set up shop in another place, and now he's luring a completely different set of people to an island, to a different island. That would make sense since he knows his main island has been compromised because the Lana Entertainment escaped and told the police everything. So, yeah. But I did enjoy this game. I enjoyed it immensely. There were some things I didn't I didn't like about it. I explained those about how it was campy and a little bit weird. But overall, I enjoyed my time with Lana Entertainment and and their and the crew. I enjoyed the story of you know of of Grantham Demet how he went how he went off the deep end went crazy and all those other things. And that is pretty much all the other things. And that is season one of the anthology done. That's the, that's, we have, so to recap, we have played all four of these. We've played, we have played through Man of Medan, we have played through Little Hope, we have played through House of Ashes, and we have played through The Devil and Me. And next, for season two, we're going to be playing Directive 8020, um, or 8060, I don't, whatever the name is, I know that, I know it's, but, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting seeing that, but. Uh, I do like these games, and I encourage you to play them for yourself if you want to, because they're because I've obviously my playthrough. You've seen guys have seen my playthrough. It's not going to be completely blind if you play it at this point, but go through it and play through your own game and make your go through the your own copy of the game and make your own choices and see how and see what if you can get a better ending. See if you can get different endings. See if you can find all the collectibles. I encourage you to do that. There's also the there's also the curator's cut, which I have not played through. I would love to at some point with somebody, but, uh, yeah, I would love to, I would love to, if people are interested, I may play through the director's cut. I don't, the curator's cut. I have no idea if that'll be interest, if that'll be a, an interesting idea or not, but we now know that that's the fourth game. That's what, those are the four, four games done of season one. So season two, it looks like it's going to be going to space. And if I remember correctly, the Cetus constellation is where the vampires are from. So seems we're going to finally be exploring their home, which, you know, 
makes perfect sense which you know again makes perfect sense since the alien since that's the only aliens we know of and they're obviously from space so I, if i remember correctly that the cetus constellation is in fact where they're coming from so yeah overall pretty fun pretty fun game pretty enjoyable i just i i had some problems with it but you know it's overall it's a great game so i and i would recommend all four of them and i will try and get uh and i will try and get um what is it switchback Go going for you guys because i want to play switchback vr for you guys as well that's going to be a different kind of game but that's going to be a fun game he has it's a unreal shooter but it takes you through the first four games in the series so it's absolutely something i want to make content on and i and as a dark pictures anthology fan i absolutely have to play that because that was that's fun that's fun to explore um and that's going to be interesting to play but uh you know that's that's then this is now but uh for the time being we're going to be stay, we're going to be leaving the episode here so thank you guys so much for watching this series if you enjoyed be sure to like comment and subscribe also be sure to follow me on twitter in the description below be sure to just go and check out my twitch link is down in the description um be sure to go dive stream every saturdays and sundays so please go check those out i would appreciate it if you did that um, go and check out my Patreon. Go and check out my Patreon if you want to help support uh, both of those channels. The top video is the most recent, and uh, yeah, just go do that. There's perks for that. Go do that. I would appreciate that. And also, finally, if you want to see more content from me, then be sure to check out the videos linked in the end screen. The top video is the most recent video. It may or may not be this video. Where's the bottom video is the video recommended to you based on what you've already seen from me. So if you want to try something new or see more of what you like, then be sure to check both of those videos out. But in any case, thank you guys so much for watching. And us next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.